Guys, stop making fun of cringy, creepy Uncle Joe Biden. Hey, Credos. Come on and join me for a little fireside chat. I'm literally sitting here with my blanket and a real fire because I'm freezing. I'm gonna be freezing all winter. I also would like to pay a little homage today to Farrah Fawcett, whose hair I tried to emulate all through high school. And then today I kind of accidentally did it. So I just wanna say, Farrah is here for you today. But I have something important I want to talk to you about. I don't usually delve into the political, but this just has to be said. We all know Joe Biden is a freaking gaff machine. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. We have to equip them to when they get out. Nobody in, who got in prison for marijuana, for example, immediately upon being released, they shouldn't be in there for a Mr. That should be a misdemeanor. Because the God's done before. I'm the only one up here. Go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. He has so little self-awareness that he says and does the creepiest, cringiest, weirdest things over and over and over. And even when he gets called out, he still does them again and doesn't seem to notice that he's still doing it. Outside of Tulsi Gabbard, who as an aside, a total aside, I like quite a bit in many ways, and whose takedown of Kamala Harris about the pot habit was the best thing in presidential debate. She put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. Since Reagan's 1984 shutdown of Walter Mondale over his age, you old people remember that, right? Mr. Truett and I, and I want you to know that also, I will not make age an issue of this campaign. I am not going to exploit for political purposes my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> But outside of Tulsi, I know Joe is the only damn who seems to realize that going headlong into socialist dogma is insane and stupid and nothing but pandering for votes. He seems to be the only one who gets it with Tulsi, but people, people, there is something seriously wrong. Usually I'm happy to join in and make fun of all the stupid things politicians do. But I've watched the gaffes and the mumbling and the nonsense, and I just keep seeing it get worse and worse. But this, the newly surfaced video from a couple of years ago of him talking about his leg hair and roaches and kids jumping on his lap. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. I actually stopped laughing and shaking my head. Look, I'm no gerontologist. There's my disclaimer. I'm not a doctor of any kind. But I've experienced something like that personally. And I just don't think it's something that should be mocked and made fun of. I'll tell you my story. In the early 90s, my mom began having transient ischemic attacks, or TIAs, sometimes called mini strokes. They're associated with vascular dementia, which is the second most common form of dementia. So for about a decade until her death in 2003, I watched her slowly decline. And it was really sad. And a lot of the clips I see of Biden look sadly familiar and kind of spooky. When we lived in Florida, my parents came to visit us and I was teaching a Sunday school lesson. And I asked a question of the class. Now my mom was a scriptorian. She knew the scriptures inside and out. And when she raised her hand to answer the question, that was no surprise. She raised her hand, I called on her. And she began with a really perfectly cogent response. But as she spoke, she kind of drifted off. And I didn't know what she was talking about. I didn't know how it connected to the question or 
the first part of her answer. And after a bit, she kind of recognized that she was lost. She didn't even know what she was saying. And so she just kind of backpedaled and stopped. And it was really sad. And one of those signs when you start saying, you know, my mom, my parent isn't okay. Now, like I said, I'm no doctor, but to be really honest, that's what Biden is looking like to me. I know people say it's this, it's that, it's distraction, it's a stutter, it's something else, but that's not what it looks like to me. I know Biden is an easy target because he's in public so often and these things are happening so often, but I genuinely feel bad about it. I don't agree with his politics, but honestly, I hope someone who actually cares about him, not someone who's coattailing on him, not someone has something to gain, will come help him and get him to back away. It's like a slow motion train wreck watching him and it seems to be getting worse. Anyway, don't usually delve into the political, but that's the vlog this week. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think everything's fine and dandy and he should just keep chugging along? Or do you think there's something more going on and that maybe he needs to be getting help and getting out? Please subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. I appreciate your support more than you know. This has been such a fun, interesting, scary journey. Also, come on over to Instagram and follow Midlife Credo. And you can also find me on the Midlife Tribe on Facebook, where we are thriving in midlife without the crisis. See you next week.